Hi, my name is Robert Patterson. I am a practicing pediatric intensive care physician. When I was in junior high, I was looking through a Time magazine book of photographs. And I came upon the photograph, uh, it's very famous, of a young girl in Vietnam who is running down a road. She's been uh, exposed to napalm and she's clearly in distress. It's, it was quite iconic and, and remains so at the time. And when I saw that photograph, although I was moved absolutely by the picture of the foreground, the child who was, who was in need, my attention was also drawn to some soldiers and others who were on the side who clearly wanted to help but had no idea what to do. And at that moment, I decided that that would never be me, that I was going to dedicate my life to being the person who knows what to do when a child is in need, when a child is in pain, when a child's health is on the line. I was not going to be in the position of not knowing what to do. That, and and uh, that moment changed my life and I've been dedicated to that ever since. To be able to devote hours and, uh, of my life to the sole purpose of making a child get better and feel better and to see at the end of the day the true miracles of God that happen in, uh, in, a, in a medical facility such as this is, um, is something that I, I have no words for the amount of gratitude that I have. Uh, for that experience every day of my life and, and, and uh, you know I can go to bed at night knowing that I have uh, done good work and uh, have done my best to help people and make their lives better and that my investment in time and energy and, and all the education and everything that I've done is now going to live on in a child who then may have you know 70 more years of uh, of life and a better life because maybe I was a small part of their team that took care of them. So trust is earned and, and, a, and a child's trust is, is doubly so. Um, and maybe a parent's trust is triply so. Um, we are all hardwired as, as parents to be the guardians of our children. Um, and I think the fact that I come at my job both as a medical director of the Children's Hospital and as a, as a pediatric intensive care doctor as a parent first and um, look at that child as if it were my own child lying in, in that bed, it's not hard for me to imagine that. Um, and as long as I do for that child exactly what I would want someone to do for my child, I think that comes through. I think that that's something that is not uh, is not something that can be faked, but it is also not something that can be missed. I'm an outdoors kind of guy, and I'm a, I like playing tennis. My wife and I play tennis together, um, and we are um, uh, play over here at the uh, local club. Um, I'm in the Under the Hill Tennis League. As a 50-year-old man, this is my first year in the Under the Hill Tennis League, and this is a great bunch of fellas that just come out and, and uh, beat each other with tennis rackets and um, call, it a, call it a game of tennis. No, they're, re they're very highly uh, skilled uh, guys out there, and, and that's a lot of fun. Um, I've been involved in uh, Boy Scouts as both a scout leader um, in uh, my son's troop as well as being the medical director for the um, local scout camp here and that's been uh, extremely rewarding. I've taken kids on uh, scouting adventures across the country, um, hiked in uh, the Rockies and up in the Appalachian Trail and um, uh, part of my medical interest is in wilderness medicine, the idea of, of and I've done a fair amount of 
uh, study and research in hyperthermia, hypothermia, snake bites, um, spider bites, other lightning strikes, things like that. And, and that all ties into my interest outside of medicine. I like to scuba dive. Don't get nearly enough chance to, to do that. I like to go skiing, those types of things.